You see, when you act on it, like what Christ says in um, um, John's uh, Johannes, uh, Be Johannes um, Wengel in the Gospel of John, I think it's uh, 717, something like that, 717, yes. John's Gospel 717, if any man will do his will, does it sound like his majesty again, make our wills obedient to good influences, avoid evil, to show the greatest wisdom? In order to follow this aim, hymenot, all right, to wahido, if any man will do his will, right, he shall know. And if you look up that word know, it is gnosis, right, gnosis, which is to say he must become a Gnostic. But not the Gnostics. See, there's two kind of Gnostics, like there's two kind of Christians. See, Satan has created that duality, you know what I'm saying, through the sin of Adam. Right through Adam, right through our ancestor. And whenever we are in that Adam, and we act like a damn fool, you understand, know in, in relation or out of relation to the truth of the word, the spirit, and the truth of the King of Kings and his Christ, and are putting other things, right, other things, other ways of so called salvation. You understand, like a lot of these other. Um, um, philosophies, gnosis pseudonymous kind of philosophies, right, and conspiracies. You over saying they say, Well, I'm Rastafari and such and such, but not the Bible, and not Yeshua, not the Yesus. No, all that is mythology. Yo, you better watch that. I'm talking to the brothers and sisters. See, some of the others, all I say to them is repent. Like, repent, have a change of mind. You better change that mind. You over saying, because the veil is about to drop. You understand the veil? I know people, folks say, what is this veil? The spiritual veil. Some already perceive this. Those people who are spiritual. They can, you know, perceive this. I mean, one, some brothers and sisters have even testified that some of them who walk in Yeshua and that faith to Abba, you understand, that ones and ones who are, who are of the occultic, so-called the dark side, so-called the ignorant side, even are able to see that light. And they refer to it as light. They want us to turn down our light. You know what I'm saying? This is why they probably started to flag us, right? You know, with the vids and stuff like that. When you see all those videos, they want to turn down the light. It's too bright. Turn down the light. You know what I'm saying? No, we delight in the truth and <laughs> the light. You know what I'm saying? And John says, for I and I to shine and shine on and shine bright. You see what I'm saying? So, so that's why they try to, you know, those spirits try to keep you from caught up in yourself, in yourself, in yourself, right? And, and, and Rasta for I, for you. That's not the meaning of it. Stop lying. Okay, it was fun in kindergarten, but now it's time for us to grow up to him in all things. See, that's for the children, you understand? But these other ones are not Abba's children. You understand? Because if Abba was their Abba, they would be saying hallelujah for the good news. And they will be walking in it, living in it, growing in it, disseminating to other brothers and sisters. You understand? Instead of coming with counterfeit gospels. You understand? And counterfeit, you know, trying to counterfeit, you know, um, some teaching and, and call it the teaching of his majesty or what. Or it's a new thing that we, it's not really about that and not about the Bible. You, you, you wish your time. You know what I'm saying? Shut your demonic mouth. You know what I'm saying? In the name of Yeshua HaMoshiach. You know what I'm Remember, you know, from where we come from, we wouldn't have not even said it like that. That's really, really pleasant. You know what I'm saying? You know, like if, if we say that, that His Majesty, the Father's house, is like our, our clique to say. You know what I mean? The society of His Majesty and His Majesty's people and recognize the Beta Rastafari, the Beta Israel. I mean, we wouldn't even deal it so pleasantly in the Old Testament sense. You understand? I mean, because we recognize it's not really them, but it's, the, it's that which is behind them. You understand? And said, tell the Lucy in the name and the authority in the Sima Gita Jesus Christos. We got to leave here. And we have to understand we have that spiritual authority. Why do you think the disciples, the first thing they were sent out to do, right, was to cast out those demons out of out of the Israelitish people because a lot of demons in black folks y'all might not think so black people would never do such and such maybe at one time you understand but you're talking like 40 years it's been a 40 years in the wilderness a lot of stuff have gone on I mean we have the whole crack baby generation just think about it for a moment right think about it so this portion right here 
this Torah portion, when we look at it, right, um, it has uh, four parts. It is one, an indictment. Secondly, it speaks of the punishment. And then thirdly, it speaks of the punishment being restrained. Wow. Being restrained, right, until the restrainer is taken out of the way. Think about that, right, Thessalonians, right? Um, then it's the parting words, the parting words. Now, this particular Torah portion, we're going to try to see what we can do because we're going to update this with the Ali, uh, uh, the Aliyot, right? Because we know that what we have here in the, the five-volume series, the Torah portion, reading and feedings of the society, is the, we, we're going to call this probably the, it's the introduction, and it's like probably the summary compilation, right? The summary, then there's the Aliyot now, they've updated it, right? Um, which is another level that Yah willing will teach on, um, and that will be taught on, and may the Holy Spirit, which teaches us all things, may you receive that, that real baptism of the Memphis Caduce. See, see, folks are still getting baptized in the old dirty water. You understand? And that's not bad if that's how you like to bathe. You understand? But it's in the Holy Spirit. Remember the trifoldness of the baptism. Yes, it's the mikveh, right? The mikveh, but the mikveh is a spiritual level of it, Yovas, um, that the Word teaches us. And as we walk in this and we receive it, we have the testimony. You understand to 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 verify this, to verify that truly Abba is true. All right. So this Torah portion is interesting, especially at the time that it comes. You know, in the particular season that it comes. Now we know that it touches on the Song of Moses, right? That, that's what's very interesting. The Song of Moses is touched on in this Torah portion. So what we're going to do is pause for the course, right, and then come forward in. In this a little bit more, right? For this um, this fifty uh, third, right? Adimtu, right? Adimtu, which doesn't just mean to listen, but means to pay careful attention, right? P pay, pay careful attention. Mm. If you start to check out some of the dictionaries, which is a deraja, that's a level. The first thing first, right, is to receive of His Spirit. To receive of his word to study and show yourself approved because then you'll be able to rightly divide the word of truth when you hear things or you, you hear one speaking and saying certain things you you will recognize whether it's in his word whether it's in order or it's out of order you understand whether it's in order or it's out of order so order is the first um level and in in a in a, in a sense it would be the color red so let's recognize the color red, right? It, it will be that color red, which is the groundation where the three feet of the Lion of Judah, you understand, are, are dipped in the what? The blood of the enemies, right? The blood of the enemies. That's what we say to ones everywhere, you understand, to repent. You understand, that's why we're so happy that Father had, had, had mercy and grace on us. You understand, because he shows us these things to um, come, right? We must be prepared. So the song of um, Moses, right? This particular, what's known as the song of Moses, which we find um, mentioned in um, Revelation. So the song of Moses that we find mentioned in Revelation is also contained in this particular chapter. Now those are the Schofield Study Bible. Um, we will highly suggest um, and recommend rather than suggest but recommend even more so that one study this chapter 32 right chapter 32 um, which is the whole Torah portion and then um, one more Sabbath right one more Sabbath now we have to recognize what's the order of this now I know I, I began off speaking about the Mesmur um, the, 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 the psalm for the Sabbath the psalm actually that one should have already chanted from Friday evening you know just to keep it in good order but still any time in, in, in grace and in faith you understand um, is 92 the 92nd psalm which according to Ethiopic we find um, that it's, um, it's a sabbatical 
right? It's a sabbatical psalm. Um, psalm uh, 90, 92. Bamarinya mezmor zet na'an zet na'hulet besen bet ken ye misgana mezmor. Ye misgana mezmor. So as a as an outro, well actually, this will be actually for the day, right? There's also the psalm for the particular day, so we already have like three psalms. Think about it. Coming into the Sabbath, which will be the one that you have as, as Friday, right? The Friday or for that day, but really as we come into the Sabbath, right? Then we have the actual beginning of the Sabbath psalm, which would actually be um, Psalm 24, right? And then we have the particular psalm for whatever particular day it is. So this will be the sixth. Let's overstand that right there, the six. Now, each of these psalms have um, much, mu it contains much uh, spiritual food. So not to stuff ones, so to speak, right? Um, but let's get a good groundation. The, today's psalm will be the 60th psalm. The 60th psalm. You know, that 60th psalm, something about the perfect woman and, and 60. Perhaps that's because that's the age where, where a, 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 a daughter can become on the level of um, like when you have the, the the righteous woman or the holy woman right on on the on the for the more mature and the older like that she she gains that title of mother in that sense if she has been in the way the truth and the life you understand for a period of time where ones can testify to it so the the age of 60 you also find um, scripturally uh, uh, relevant so I have before me right right here um Psalm Psalm um ninety ninety uh two right Psalm ninety two so let's uh go, go on as an outro Psalm ninety two and um though a, a psalm for the day regularly to be repeated is Psalm twenty four. You understand? Then there's also a psalm for the close of the Sabbath. If I'm correct, it's a one four four. Right, it's it, it's a uh, Psalm um, one hundred and uh, forty-four, which is a beautiful psalm, right? Um, to to begin the the cycle of um, labors again, right? Uh, we pause for the cause, and and Psalm one forty-four, which is the Egeziavi Heramlake Yibarek, blessed be the sustainer, Yahweh. My strength, Bamarinya Amlake Elohe or Elohai, right? As some would say, my power, my strength, Bamarinya, my source, which teacheth my hands to war, le ejoche selfin, and my fingers to fight, le atochim zemechan yemiyas temir, my goodness. And my fortress, my high tower, and my deliverer, my shield, and he in whom I trust. You know, for for a long time, I keep asking myself, why always in these Bibles they have the he there in lowercase? Anyway, um, who subdueth my people under me? Now that is actually for the close, for the fulfillment. That's like the like the evening, the, the even psalm among the among Orthodox Judaism, especially the Torah Jews, but then we recognize that in the ancient times, so it was taught to them, if you remember the Babylonian captivity, Yehovah's with that other peoples that were brought into the north, which later became the Samaritans. So many of those things have been kept, and we recognize by study of it, in operation is the perfect end of the Shabbat, because it prepares us now for the warfare of the world. You understand? Um, you know, in the sense that we would have said elsewhere, get money or get the wealth. But we recognize by Torah, what is that for? It's not the love of money. It's the love of the king of kings and his Christ and the establishment of his kingdom. You know what I'm saying? So it's not even for, for, for our love. Our love is for him. You understand? Because the Shema tells us that we're to love him with our complete, our perfect, our perfect heart 
right? Our consciousness, right? Um, with our uh, perfect soul, right? Our innermost of our inner and our perfect might. You understand? With all that is within us. You understand? Whatever skills, whatever gift, whatever strong points. And we say, what's your strong point? Well, that's your might. You understand? That's your might. Not the might, M-I-T-E, right? But might, M-I-G-H-T. You know, it's, it's English, right? It's English, right? As they say. So, which would be the first psalm? Well, the first psalm will be Friday, right? It will be Friday, right? And this is 92 right here, where it says, Besimaab, Weweld, Wemenfes, Kedus, Ahadu, Amlak. Let's bring that up right there. So, the subscription, which the IOTA doesn't have, I hope they update that right there. I pray. Besenbed Ken, Yemiskana Mesmor. On the Sabbath day, a song or really a chant of praise of Miskana, of Miskana. Kutaran, Egaziabi Herin, Mamesken, Melkamano, Lu Lahoi, Lesimim Mazamare, Mak Reba. It is a good thing to give thanks, to give praise, to give thanks. To Egeziaviher, to the Sustainer, to the Father, to Yahweh, He will be who He be, His Divine Majesty. Lu'ul O Most High, right? That's the part, O Most High. And to sing praises to Thy name. Lu'ul Hoy, Lesimehim Zemare Makreb. Now, one thing you have to understand, this is, this is some of the secret of the, of, 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 the, not just a psalm, but the secret to the scripture is Yeshua, right? And we understand the relation of the Father to the Son and His revelation, the King of Kings and His Christ. When we say, we're speaking of the Father, Abba. When we say, right? Or the Most High, El Elyon in the Hebrew, El El Elyon, we're speaking of the Son. He is the Most High, He is the Prince. He is the Lord of Lords. And that's why the King of Kings never formally took that title. You know what I'm saying? But yet, yes, the Lord of Lords is in the King. They are one, of course. That's the Don't you understand? Right? To shoe or to show. Really, maurat to news. Maurat is the root, the root, uh, uh, awara, right? Awara. I know this name, Jawara, interesting, but awara, hawariat, right? A hawariat, it means to news it, to tell it like were, were, like the news. This is the news. This is why we say we're reporting, right? This is the news, to shoo forth, to news forth. Thy loving kindness in the morning, Bemalada Mihiratin, thy thy mercy, Belaili Tim, and in the night, right, Unetahin Maurat. And in the night, right, your truth, your unet, right, your unet to Maurat, to news it. Right? So the mercy, right, the mercy, the mihirat. Is in the malada, the wee hours of the morning, right? And in the deep in the night, right? It is the, it is the, is, it is his truth. You understand? It is his truth. Now you maybe understand why the priests in the tabernacle, you understand? Why do they, why, why do they continue with that? That is to protect and keep the people. And we are that priesthood. Recognize. Kuter um, sourced. Aser autar balo bebegena kamiskana garim bemesenko upon a an instrument of ten strings. Aser autar balo bebegena. So the begena has ten, ten, right? Ten strings, right? Ten strings, and upon the psaltery, right, with the harp. Upon the excuse me, upon and upon the psaltery, right? The psaltery. Now the psaltery, it, 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 it's, it's interesting right there, 
right? Um, because that's the Psalms right there. That's the Psalm, right? But it is actually when the ten strings, the the psaltery is not really there, but it can be interpolated, right? Upon the harp with a solemn sound, come misgana garim be mesenko, and with the misgana be mesenko on the what single string, right? The single string. I understand when we speak about the music and, and, and you know what I'm saying? The, the holy music. Kuter arat abitu beserah des asenya tenya lena be ijehima sera des yelenya lena. For thou abitu, my father, his father, father of the house, abitu. You know what I'm saying? It, it is a mystery kind of compressed. You understand? Abe to Ab, Abe, Abe, my father, right? Be to, right? Um, Abat, Abat to, Abe to, his father, father of the bait, his house, has made me glad, right? Through thy work. Besara, Besara, Besara. For he has made me glad. So you have to understand, well, what is the work of the King of Kings? See, see nothing, nothing takes your joy. You understand, when you're depressed, not depressed, but when you're, you're being, being troubled by things. And you know what the work, what his work is in Yeshua HaMoshiach. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're glad. But it jehim sera desa yelenyalena. I will triumph, right? Triumph, right? I will triumph in the works of thy hands. Bamarinya Baijahim Sara in your hand work, in your handiwork. The ij, the id, the yid, the yad, right? In the work of your hand, des yelenyalena has made me happy, you know, was, I will be, I, I'm, I'm happy, right, it, it's made me happy, you know what I'm saying, that's what makes me happy, and that's, so even the triumph there can be construed to be interpolated, you know what I'm saying, within the, the, the interpretive sense, abetu, again, abetu, abetu, we say abet, like saying sir, someone calls you in a royal house, you say abet, abet for a woman, emet, Emet, right? Abit, right? It's like, yes, sir. Right? Let's overstand. Right? Let's overstand. Abitu, my father, his father, father of the house. How great are thy works. Serah hijig, serah hijiga tilikano. Asabihima hijiga tilikano. And thy thoughts are very deep. Now, the Bamarinya, this is some wonderful, po not just prose or kine. Overstand, um, let's see if your ear picks up on it for a moment. Abitu serah hijig tilikano. Asabihima ijiga tilikano. You have tilik and tilik. Tilik, tilik, and tilik. One is soft tilik and tilik. All right, how great are thy works and thy thoughts? I saw be him the metaf could do some negus in the guest, right? The book of the seven, thy thoughts are very deep. No, ijig, ijig, very much. Now, some people say, Oh, what about this? I'm hard, Bible, and you're hard, and this and that, right? Now, this verse answers them. Um, sadis. Sene fosso ayaukim Liba yele loem a yehin ayasa tawa loem. A brutish man knoweth not. Really, they're being awfully polite there. A fool, a foolish man does not know. He, he almost like will not know. He don't have the gnosis of the King of Kings and his Christ. He will not know it. Right? He doesn't know it. Lib. Right, you lay low in my Right, neither doth a fool understand this. Now, really, it's saying a brutish one. It says a lib, you lay low 
one who doesn't have any heart, heartless. Right? Isn't that one of the things that in a lot of the reggae songs, a lot of the inspired singers be talking about the heartlessness of this person or that type of people and right? You hear now Yas told a woman. So you might try to preach and teach him to you blue in the face to convince fleshies and others insanities of the majesty of his majesty and they just don't get it. You understand? You have to keep it moving. Kutar Sabat. When the wicked spring as the grass <laughs> I was thinking it's not rhyme with that, but let me go forward. And when all the workers of antiquity do flourish. It is that they shall be destroyed, downstroyed forever. So we see right now where a lot of this is going on. This this verse right here, it, it is, it is well, all, his whole word, all of his word is is is, is perfect. You know, saying let's just recognize that and say hallelujah. Miskan la abla wal manfesa kedus. Miskan la right? Verse uh, verse uh, seven. They have a little typo in the meat afar in the iota. Io, uh, this will be in the meat afu. Hallelujah. The Spirit said, Look at the book. Go to the book. The, 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 the online is good as a basic, but. Sometimes if you can have both of it there, just didn't seem to read right, didn't chant right, right there. But um, so it's in the me tefu, not tefa, and that's singular, but in the me tefu, right? Chat yatenyoch, right? The sinners. I mean, look at all this kind of stuff, all these kind of um, um, stuff, right, that we see going on. Right, another word we can use, but let's keep it caduce, right? Chat yatenyoch in the sar si beklu. When they spring in the sar, right, in the shar, really, but in the sar si beklu, right? Ameta yemiyadorgu hulu si lemelmu. When they went, when, when they turn in green, they're, they're all green. Oh, this conspiracy breaking out. Oh, look at that. Oh, you heard about this? Oh, that's going on. Oh, it, it's, it's just demonic activity. But notice what it says. Lezelalem alem. Right? Lezelalem alem in the mitefu no. Now it's interesting that you can say forever world as they are. Is like they're destroyed. But it's when the forever world comes. Right? When that veil drops, they are destroyed. That forever world, the Lezalalem Alem and the Mitafu no. Alright? See, this is what we prepare for and, and, and see the word sound and power. This is why we have to uh, not have to. I don't want to make it seem like somebody forcing one, but I don't want to hide it from you either. Um, Kutar cement, Abertu, Antegin, Lezalalem, Lulun. But thou, Abertu, my father, his father, oh father of the house, art most high. You are Lul forever. You understand? Know you are the one who is raised up, and he has raised up the name of Yeshua above every name that can be named. In the heavens or on earth or in the depths or under the earth or in some secret location or whatever they want to call themselves. And so they're saying that, oh, Yeshua, they're liars, they're demons. They already judge. See, their judgment is already been since the flood. Overstand that. Their judgment been since the flood. You read Hanok, Enoch, Ukutera Zetang, Abetu, Inneho, Telatoche, Yetefaluna, Amet. Anim 
for lo, look in sight, thine enemies, thy haters, right? <laughs> For lo, look, look, sight, there they are, there it is. Thine enemies shall perish. Your male enemies, not the ones who are male, some of the females too, but we're saying his, speaking to him, as him, male, as you, right, male, not to some female deity which is just satan in drag don't don't get confused it's a regular yuhun don't get get rid of that right tell i told you here right or tell i told you if you want to say you tell i right but as we chant this to him tell i tell i told you you tell i met on him you me sir hulu you better not luna all the workers of Rastafari, we say antiquity, right? But Ametan, that is the rebellion. That's the rebellion, the great transgression against the King of Kings. I mean, there's a whole external lies hierarchy right now. You understand? <laughs> that, that, that's who we're speaking about. All the workers of antiquity shall be scattered. Shall be scattered. They shall flee. They shall be scattered. That reminds me of Psalm 68. You know Psalm 68. Don't you know Psalm 68? Well, let's just have a, um, not a flashback, but let's just go to a flash, a flash forward, right? Because the judgment's going to be like a flash flood upon them. Make, make Yahweh, he who be, who he be, his divine majesty, arise. Make his enemies be scattered. You bet to know. You bet to know. Remember what we just read? And those who hate the haters, those who hate him, those who hate Kedamawi, Haile Selassie, even if they come like wolves in a sheep of clothing, right? You meet a lutim kafitu from his presence, from his panim, right? You should shoot. Right? Let them, make them also that hate him flee before him. We're just touching right here on Psalm 68 because that scattering thing just reminds us of this particular Ethiopia psalm. It says, Tis in the me benin and di hu ye benenu. Semba isata feet in the me yak a litta. In di hu a hat yana ka egazi a beher feeta yitafu. As smoke is driven away, <laughs> so drive them away. As wax melteth before the fire, so uh, make them, make the wicked perish at the presence of Egziabihir. You see, this is the, we're not waiting for him to come again in that sense, but the parousia, the unveiling, the apocalypsis. Right, the unveiling. Sadik anima desa ye belacho, be egazi abe herima fita, hesita yadurgu, be desitama desa ye belacho. But make the righteous, the sadik an. Remember why and who we are, and in whose righteousness we are righteous. Recognize that. It's not in what you do, how much I tell, how dread your, le dread your locks are, whatever like that, or any of that kind of stuff. That, that's working out your own righteousness. It's Yeshua HaMoshiach. You understand? The Christ of His Majesty is our righteousness. So therefore, in that sense, Zadik Anima Desi Belacho, make them rejoice before Be'ekeziabe Harima Fita Hesheta Yadurgu. Yea, it's not there but implied. Yea, make them exceedingly rejoice. Now, Kutera Arat, and we're going to return to 92, right? It says, <speaking in Hebrew> Semu egzi abe herno be fitu ma desi belachu be fitu ma yedeneget alu. Sing to egzi abe her the sustainer. 
Sing to Yahweh, he who be, who he be. Sing to the Hashem. Sing to Kelamawi, Haila Salase. Sing praises to his name. Extol him. Right? Extol him. Now it's interesting. Really, it says, Bamarinya, let Egeziaviher take en you. Compose to Egeziaviher, to the sustainer, to Yahweh, to he who be who he be, to the Hashem. Baruku, 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 to his name, Le Sumum, Le Kedamawi, Haila Salase, Zemru, compose chant, Zemru, Mesmur is chant, right? It says, Wede Midre Beda, Le Wet Amen Ged Adergu, Simu Kedamawi, Haila Salase, no. Now, this is a revelation. Of Rastafari. Now in your Bibles it has extolled him that rideth upon the heavens. Notice the difference. See, in the it says Be Midre Beda is the desert. <laughs> okay, 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 let's uh, overstand this right here. The Midre Beda, I know we're still in the Psalm ninety two, but, but we're in the Sabbath time, the sabbatical. So it's about that reading and feeding, right? So in Psalm 68, verses 1 to 4, let's get the Tehillim right here. The Tehillim, right? Let's get the Tehillim right here of the, of the Arub Awiyana Ayhud, right? The Ka Negeda Ashkenaz, right? Um, based on the Babylonian Masora, which is the traditional, right? It says right here, let the righteous be... Uh, Glad, well, actually, they have ver at verse 5 because they include the subscription as a verse. Uh, it says, um, Sing to God, sing praises to his name, extol him that rideth upon the skies, whose name is the Lord, all caps, and exalt ye before him. Now, the footnote, I mean, the foot, foot it says, Rideth upon the skies or the heavens, right? It says adopted by the AV, the authorized version, but changed in the revised version to through the deserts. From the revised version, they began to really see what's going on because, see, the noun, there's a noun in the Hebrew. The noun means fine dust. So the Amharic of Negusa Neges Metaf Kedus is accurate. That's the pure language right there of uh, Zephaniah chapter 3, verses 9 and 10. Amos 9 and 7, Psalm 87, Psalm 68, verse 31. You know and we can go to Genesis, right? And then we also have all of the Ethiopic, you understand, persons, you know saying, mingling, co-mingling in that Hebrew or Beta Israel line, the righteous among the Ethiopians, all right? Um, so here it says, find us. And is used for the thin layers of cloud in the sky. This is how they interpret it. All right. In Hebrew poetry, the usual meaning, the usual meaning is the heavens. The usual meaning, right, is the heavens. So let's see if we have it right here. Right here, it says, um, 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 let's see, right here, it says, uh, what Arabot? I think it's Arabot, the Arabs, right? The Arabot, right? The Arabot. Isn't that interesting, right there? The Arabot. And then it has um, the verse here says, um, 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 either Solu, based on the pointing, Solu, um, La, like La, La, what, 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 what's the pointing? Or probably Lar, Lar Cave. Larkev, uh, lar right? Larkev, they would probably say, um, um, Ba Arabot, on the Arabot, the Arabot, the fine dust there. All right, um, then this was uh, for Lord in the footnotes is the Hebrew Ja or the Hebrew Ya. If you pronounce it like the German Jews do, you will, the J will be a Y sound. So that's the secret of that right there, Ya. Right, ya, 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 right, ya, and ya is affirmative, right, and in him is ye and amen, ya, 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 right, ya, there you go, Yovas. So, um, that is just to connect that right there, but let us continue with 92, 
so we can get into a further part on on the song of moses because the song of moses comes up right comes up in um revelation and if we get the groundation right and we're his children then we will overstand right so once again uh, right verse 9 of mesmore Mesmer Dawit Psalm 92, right? Or actually 91 if you're reading this in, in the Met of Kedus of Negus and Negest. And if you don't see those two numbers, you don't have the Met of Kedus of Negus and Negest. All right? That means somebody has um, um, counterfeited. It's like a counterfeit in that sense. Or one of these new other kind of um, um, Bibles translated from English into Amharic. That's not His Majesty's Bible. Abetu in the ho telato chehe yitefa luna Amet anem yemisaru hulu yebetana luna Kutter aser kende and kendendalo kef kef yelal Shemigalina yema bezeita yelemelmal. But my horn shalt thou exalt like the horn. Of an unicorn. Now it doesn't say unicorn. People say, "Oh, there's no rah rah rah." They don't understand what this means. You see, and the Europeans, unfortunately, they, that's why they put unicorn there. But in a sense, it's correct. It says, "Ken day, my horn on ken in dalo, right? As that which has one horn." It don't say unicorn. That which has one horn. People say, "What is one horn?" Well, you know, you have to go figure there, huh? Hmm. You know what the El Canudo is? You see, the one horn is our Shema finger, the left finger, right? In the Shema, in the, in the Ahaz of Ahadu, the Ahadu Ahaz, in the cipher for the Ethiopic one. Kende an kenda indalo kef kef yilal, shemigalinayim bezeyete yilamelamal, right? I shall be anointed with fresh oil because that's also the horn, the anointing, the anointing horn, right? I mean, there's more to that, but we want to get through this. We've been on this particular point and we want to get a little more into the Torah portion, but um, I'm sure ones probably also find this to be informative, but it also is the anointing in the, in the, in the sense of the anointing oil on that level, but now that one, that one is that Shema, that bearing witness, right? Shema Yisrael, Yahweh Eloheinu, Yahweh Achad. So Kuter Asra'an, it says, Oy name, Bet Alatoche Layach, Joroyim Benelaya Bekomu, Bekufuoch Laya Samach. Mine eyes shall see my desire on my enemies who want to see the end of me. And mine ears shall hear my desire of the wicked that rise up against me. I name it Elatoche Laiach Joroyim Benelai Bekomu Bekufuch Lai Samach. That's kind of self explanatory there. Kutera asra hulet Sadik in the Zenbaba Yaferala in the Libano Sazigbama Yadgala. The righteous, singular, the righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar or cedar in Libanos. Or in Lebanon, Kutera Asara Sost, Be Egezi Abi Herabi to Wista Tetekalewal, Be Amla Kachinima de Babai Wista Yebekalalu. Those that be planted in the house of Egezi Abi Herlotu Subhat of Yahweh Buruku. Of he who be, who he be, his divine majesty, the Hashem, Kadamawi, Haila Salase, shall flourish in the courts of our God of Eloheinu, Ba'amlaka Chnima de Babai, Wist Yebek Alalu, 
of Amlakene, the court of our source. Gutera Asara Arat Yan Gize Belemelema Shemiglina Yafaralu Destenu Chima Hono Yinoralu. They shall still bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing. Wow. What more can you ask for? Hallelujah. One more verse. Kutara asra mist. Amlaki igizi abeher. Unetenya in the hone yinegralu. Baarusumazen amet a yellem. To, it says to shoo here, but now it's not maurat here, right? It is yinegralu. That means to tell, right? To tell, to tell, tell them, tell them, to tell that the Lord is upright, that igiziabiher. Right, that my source, right, I'm like my source, because the Abi here, the sustainer, the Ab, the father of the firstborn, right, chosen nation of the light. That's all there in Behir. Now, that's the name of Yahweh, his primordial name. Now, Yahweh, this is where, where Moses, Muse, repaired the breach and he wrote the prescription. You know what I'm saying? He that's why on the Mount of Tabor, which is is spiritual tabernacles, uh, Sukkot, on the Mount of Hermon, the Hermon is and one of the largest peaks is called uh, Sewon, or the S I O N in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Kind of got confounded with uh, Sion, right? Which is a whole other. There's a whole backstory to that with the with the with the with the spirits that are now in prison from the time of Noch. Right, we're not gonna go there right now. But here's here's the good news: to shoo, to tell that my source, that I source, I and I source, the sustainer Yahweh, He who be, who He be, His divine Majesty, Kedamawi Haila Salase, the Hashem Baruch Hu, Baruch Hu, Baruch Hu, Unetenya in the Hone, as He is truthful, He is the truthful one. Yenegralu, to tell that, to tell that he is the truthful one. But Arusum, and in him, but Arusum Zend, and in him or through him, right? Ameta Yellem. There is no rebellion in him or through him. There's no revolution good for the people, I'm for the revolution. They didn't say the revolution was good, but if that's what they, if that's what you choose, he put before you this day two ways he gave them that choice and there is no unrighteousness but literally ameta rebellion in him or through him right because in the beginning the word was with god the logos was with the source right and the word was the source in the beginning you understand? In the beginning. And this, this is interesting because they use the same kind of construction, right? There's a, there's a, a kind of construction from the good, is that zend, that kind of part, it's like a particle right there, that zend. Now I know ones will take, oh, that sounds like zen. Well, this is the higher way. You know what I'm saying? So let's overstand. Ones take a word out of them, hark, and they go make a whole, a whole religion out of it. Think about that. You understand? But then when it broke down and doesn't reach you, take you where you need to go, well, that, well that's, you shouldn't be stealing. You understand? Thou shall not. You know what I'm saying? But give thanks and praise, my brothers and sisters. This is just a, um, and, and we, we hope that we're able to get this up um, ASAP. So if it's still like daytime and we got it up there and everything, well, hallelujah, His Majesty was working with us and, and through us to get that out to you. You understand, you all, brothers and sisters, whether we put this in, this will be the second part or first part, going through the psalm, we might work on it like that. Not really sure right now, but we want to um, um, 
extend and, and to give our salam ta, our greeting in the name of the King of Kings, in the name of Kedamawi Haile Selassie, and through our Lord and Savior, Gietachinamit Hanatachin Jesus Christos, Adunenu, the, the Mushiach Yeshua, to you all on this 53rd Sabbath, as we also are coming to the conclusion of the Sukkot, right, or, or Metzalet Tabernacles Yadasa Ba'al. And once again, just to kind of remind ones and ones what the significance of this is, is that uh, Sukkot is a, is a time and a season. It comes as a recharging of our spiritual batteries, that now we've passed the days of judgment, not just in this cycle, which is Yom Kippur, but also for us as the once lost but now found Beta Israel. But you have to receive it. You have to take it. Yehovah saying you have to receive that. Yehovah's job, Father, God is not going to force it. Is not going to force it on you. Yehovah saying there's much more to Sukkah and Sukkot that we need to teach on. We say that's the key to sustainable um, repatriation. Yehovah saying some folks say you know they they don't get it. Yehovah saying but hopefully you, my brothers and sisters, will get it because that is what the Father has given to you. As, as, as his free gift of faith in his number one son, the Bain Ha Elohim. And don't let any so-called demon or any demon-possessed person or deluded or deceived person tell you otherwise. You understand? Especially one who's coming in so-called the name of his majesty or Rastafari. Because that completely contradicts, you understand, the good news of the King of Kings. His word, his clear evidence and testimony besides what the Metzhaf Kedus, the Bible, you understand, um, teaches us when we receive it in the spirit and the truth of our God, Father, and King of Kings through Christ. To him be the glory both now and forevermore. So to the brothers and sisters and mothers, Shalom Rastafari. And to the others, repent. Yov said, before it's too late, this is an age of grace we're in, right? But the age of grace is coming to a fulfillment. Any good student of Bible prophecy says that there's a time of judgment coming. And that's when the age of grace, which ends with the end of the Gentile world dominion, which ends with the end of the apostate church age. And we're in that apostate or counterfeit church age. So the two, all, all these events, in a sense... It's like a trifecta of these particular events as well as heightened um, um, demonic activity. You understand probably all sort of stuff. I mean, there's all kind of testimonies and people not understanding what's going on. Hopefully, the, the good news, here's, this is the good news. You understand that Yeshua, Jesus Christos, that His Majesty, Kadamawi Haile Selassie proclaims is the truth. You understand? Receive it before it is too late. So, in a Rasia Dinos Teferi, Neng Wendem Yadon reporting on this uh, Shabbat day, this Sabbath day, the, the, um, the, the, the sixth day, we can say, of the, of the Sukkot, right? Of the tabernacles in gathering, which is the spiritual template for repatriation. You know what I'm saying? It's a spiritual template for community. It's a spiritual template for that unity because we cannot unite unless we unite according to the teaching of His Majesty. And that unity, we find the unity is only attainable in Yeshua HaMoshiach. So when folks are telling you as Rasta or posing as Rasta or pretending, maybe some of them are sincere, but sincerely wrong. You understand? Know and maybe some of them are hoodwinked and bamboozled by spirits and a lot of things they've been dabbling in. You understand? But do not lie against the truth. This is all that we say. And we're in a time of grace, so we are to be ministers of grace. You understand? But do not think that we bear the sword, the spiritual or otherwise in vain. But we're in a time, you understand, we're in a time of grace. So we are to preach grace. And as we see that, that our, you know what I'm saying, that the hour is nearing and the time is nearing, 
even so much the more so and just for this outro right here Ephesians chapter 4 Ephesians chapter 4 verse 13 right it says till we all come in the unity of the faith look at that it's the hymenote that's why these demons and devils possessing many of these brothers and sisters uh, well I say brothers and sisters in grace but these ones who have fallen off you understand bringing all these other kind of Bibles all this nonsense you understand and trying to squeeze his majesty in there and say oh what do you think that sounds a lot uh, yeah I mean coming from where you're coming from but you don't really you know see from this point of view you're saying you don't have that mountaintop view you're saying you're down in the valley and one rock look like the next rock you're saying but we are grounded and founded on the rock so this part right here in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 12 says for the perfecting of the saints the perfecting of the Kedusan for the work of the ministry the service the Agelgalot for the edifying the building up of the body of Christos we brothers and sisters we are the body of Christos the body of the anointed of the Moshiach till we all come in the unity of the faith see that unity only is attainable for us the once lost but now found beta israel by that faith right and of the knowledge is coupled with the knowledge of the bain ha elohim the son of god so then you recognize how dangerous that demonic that demonic pulse out there where folks are trying to you know shift your focus off of here that's a sleight of hand you understand it's what we have to come to the in the unity of the faith the imnet and the knowledge the ilket of the son of god to a perfect man who is that perfect man to the measure of the stature of the fullness of christos of the moshiach of the anointed that we henceforth from now on brothers and sisters overstanding and meditating on this check this word that we I and I henceforth from here forward be no more children tossed to and fro don't let them toss your spiritual salad in other words you understand tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine oh you heard about the phosphate Excuse me, what's that? That's Amharic, that's Ethiopic, that's Hebrew. What is that? Oh, it's from some place called Pan. No, uh, I'll pass on that. Um, tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doc doctrine. Really, it's doctrine, right? By the slight of men, the slight of men playing games and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in way to deceive to deceive to lead a lead astray he was a silly woman laden by the own sins you know forever learning but never able to come to knowledge of the truth verse 15 but speaking the truth this is what we are to do speak the truth in love so that we may grow up to him grow up to him but we're bo well, first we have to be born again you understand so this is speaking to those who are already repented and born again now, to those who are repentant and born again, this is for you. To those who are not repentant and not born again, then repent is for you. To those who are repentant, then be born again. You know what I'm saying? There's order in our Father's house. All this chaos must end and will end. You know what I'm saying? And ends to the preaching of the good news and the ministry of the, of the good news of the King of Kings and His Christ. But speaking the truth in love may grow up to Him in all things, which is the head, the head, the aras. Oh, 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 okay, Hebrew, which Hebrew? Their Hebrew, Rosh, uh, our Hebrew, Reis, do you get it? You over in their head, the Ras, even Christos, even Moshiach, from whom, see, it's from the head, the Ras, from whom the whole body, remember I just said that we are the body, the Beta Rastafari, we are the Akale Christos, not Corpus, the Akale right Christos from whom the whole body fitly or if you like scientific words the hypostasis try that on the hypostasis put it on 
from whom the whole body or hypostasis, the, uh, the akal, fitly, that means properly. What's proper? You mean geba, joined together and compacted. Remember, Jerusalem is a city that is compact together, compacted by that which every joint supplies. I'm talking about the joints of the body, all right? Get that one right there. According to the effectual working, the effectual, it's, it, it has effect. It's working with effect in the measure of every part. So this is I and I part. What part do you take? Where do you partake? You understand of this ministry, this gospel, the King of Kings and His Christ, making, making or maketh increase of the akal to the edifying of itself. This is what we're doing to edifying of ourself when we minister together. The edifying of ourself in love, but based on His order, because we are that kingdom of the priests after the order of the Melchizedek. So shalom, my brothers and sisters and mothers. Um, wendemoche na hitoche, um, enatoche to you all. Le 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 lochu. Um, repent. Nisha gubu. You understand? Before it is too late. Redeem. It's for us to redeem the time because the days are kufu. You understand and recognize our authority over these um, Kufu Manafist in and through Yeshua HaMushiach to the glory, to the Miskana, to the, to the Kubr, right, of our Father, of Kedus Abatach, of Abba Kedus. Once again, brothers and sisters, Shalom.